Ladies and gentlemen, hello, hello. It's time to start, but this is start, not official start. Our official start is tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, today we, we want to welcome of all of you who who is in Zamość, because many of people go to the Zamość yet not not there 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 are not yet in Zamość. They are in the in the journey. Uh, we want to welcome all of you, welcome all of you, our participators, families, and friends of 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 uh, of Institute of Human Thought, friends of all hum hum humanity. I want to give a speech, give the through the floor the chairman of Institute of Human Thought and chairman of the Council uh, of Schumann Humanitarian Forum, Professor Zbigniew Prysiak. <clears throat> Uh, yes, uh, thank you very much and to welcome everybody. Uh, we are still waiting for many people who are arriving. Some of them are coming at uh, 7, 8 or 9. So tomorrow we have official start at 10 o'clock. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is a high school uh, or university rather in Zamos. This building is uh, basically owned by this uh, state university and we have opportunity you know, to uh, have our conference here and uh, uh, we uh, have kind of a uh, sequence of these conferences uh, two last uh, conferences were in Krasicin and uh, we have uh, this year uh, different uh, environment in Poland, as you know, a change of the government, a change of the many things, uh, and some of them are very surprising and different that uh, were in the past, and we have to struggle with that, and as well, you know, we because of uh, uh, this uh, circumstances, we had to change the place uh, for our uh, meeting. Uh, this place in Zamos, uh, so Krasicin is uh, uh, around the 200 kilometers south uh, from that place, so 150, something like that. And uh, as well, uh, in, uh, uh, there are some many things going around, uh, as you notice, in Europe, in uh, many fights, kind of uh, wars, and yeah, this is a very dynamic um, situation in the environment. But, you know, in uh, 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 three years ago, we started this Schumann Humanium Forum, which basically uh, gathered uh, people from all countries in our region. And we signed a kind of a, uh, agreement uh, to uh, gather around Robert Schumann. So all participants of that uh, meeting uh, three years ago in Krasicin uh, agreed on that, that the Schumann, the, his values, his approach to building the community of European nations <coughs> is a, uh, very common for all of us. So. Uh, he is a kind of a connector, he is kind of a person who connects us, who basically brings us to the same platform, we are on the, the same page, you know, being, uh, so being close to, uh, to his values. And the values which basically in our region, in uh, this Central Europe, uh, uh, which we call the Trimarium uh, you know, the community of uh, uh, the community of a Trimarium uh, region. Uh, we uh, in, uh, approaching to this not just to uh, create some uh, uh, kind of a, uh, uh, equivalent to the European Union, but we would like to cooperate. We like to basically uh, be partners, cooperating, uh, building a community, and not uniform. Uh, so, uh, and uh, this was what we I mean, observe currently, since uh, especially since one year. 
that there is uh, much uh, uh, works uh, going towards to creating a super state. And we would like to have, I mean, all of us, all nations in our region, we would like to have a kind of autonomy in different areas, in the culture, religion, in basically uh, science, but we would like to put that uh, potential together in, in the, through the cooperation to obtain uh, 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 more, uh, to be uh, more fruitful, to obtain more out of that, I mean, uh, cooperation in this, uh, in this community. So, so this is a, 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 a kind of a, a approach of Schumann, he was basically considering to pe put people in Europe to the community, not to the uniform, not to the super state. And you know, on this roll-ups, you can read the, in your own language that Schumann said, I don't like super state. I like to have community. Uh, I already apologize, Victoria, she's from Hungary, that we just forget, you know, we had a roll up in her language in, and we left that in Warsaw. So I'm sorry, Victoria, that uh, we have in uh, many other languages. So uh, as I remember the last year when we just uh, created this roll-up with uh, all languages and we put them not just on the first day on the conference but just on the second day so all participants when arriving uh, were very much surprised positively surprised so this brought us to the, some kind of a feeling to, uh, to have uh, to be like a community to be like you know, on the same page so, uh, um, uh, we uh, are going to have uh, tomorrow and after tomorrow a uh, few panels. Uh, today, after this just a very general meeting, uh, we are going to have uh, uh, some, um, some kind of a meal in this building, just uh, next room, so just do not uh, leave that spot without uh, uh, getting some some million as well uh, an opportunity to extend uh, to uh, to extend our dialogues together at winter and uh, i um, uh, we are going to have as well tomorrow a, a representative from a polish uh, president andrzej Duda, ambassador excellency ambassador who She's uh, basically uh, responsible for the uh, Freezes project uh, from the perspective of uh, creating uh, funds to develop the uh, different projects within the Freezes area. Uh, and we have as well a support from the uh, office of the uh, the president and as well from uh, rector of this uh, at this university. So uh, just we will have uh, basically uh, much interesting topics and we are going to develop this uh, uh, this meetings in the form of uh, kind of a dialogue. So we are not going to have a regular. Uh, panels uh, led by a chairman, but just a, a discussion between a panelist and as well the audience. So you are invited, you know, to be active, uh, uh, <coughs> active in, in this dialogue discussion, raising your basically <coughs> uh, uh, voice. Uh, reacting on that, uh, what uh, panelists are going uh, uh, will express. Okay, so just uh, we will try at least, you know, to engage uh, audience to that uh, discussion on these topics. So uh, I just like, you know, um, uh, suggest, and I hope you will not reject this proposal, suggest just shortly ask our 
uh, especially guests from abroad, to just say a few words, uh, not just one sentence, but at, at least few or more, uh, so that we get a kind of a, a feeling and knowledge about uh, who, uh, who is who. So if you don't mind, Victoria, just uh, I, may I invite you here uh, and you, uh, it will be potentially most convenient if I go down to be more close to the audience. It was not discussed before. <laughs> thank you very much and thank you for the invitation. So I should present myself or... Uh, say more about uh, what you are going to discuss tomorrow about yourself, just that we know who you are. Okay, so good evening everyone. I'm uh, Victoria Pato from Hungary. I'm working as a researcher at the University of Public Service, but I'm also uh, dealing with directly managed EU funds in, uh, as a background institution of um, the Minister. Ministry for Regional Development and EU Funds, and actually the portfolio also enlarged with the public administration part. So um, I'm going to discuss in the very first panel tomorrow morning uh, how the three C region could uh, cooperate a bit deeper uh, with the help of directly managed EU funds. What are the resources? Uh, available right now, wh what we are lacking from my perspective, how I see, and also I would like to go a bit broader to a broader context and examine I, how this region could uh, work together with uh, Asian and African partners with the help of these EU supports. Uh, thank you, Victoria. <laughs> I think the topic she is going to hesitate from my perspective as an economist is very important. Uh, I am teaching in India, uh, so uh, we as a uh, Trimarium region, we are around the 120 million population. So India is uh, uh, 1.3 billion, so 10 times uh, bigger population than, than we are in this region. So, so this makes sense uh, for our uh, future development to be connected to big players like India, like African countries, like as well as South um, American countries. Uh, Africa especially is a very fast developing region. Okay, and the population in the Africa in I think in 10 years is going to be bigger uh, than uh, population in uh, uh, China and, uh, uh, and India, uh, so, and, uh, and as well this potential, I mean, to, 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 uh, to manage that, we, we need to cooperate together in that region, because, you know, business to business with India, just if you go small, you, you will get lost, you will get lost, you do not have a chance be as a small business to do business or manage that in India, okay? It's the same in Africa. So we, we should basically cooperate so that to deliver some services or of, of goods in a, big, uh, on a, in a big scale, the huge you know, quantities, okay? So then it's possible to, 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 to develop that. So do you think it makes sense or? I think so. I don't know. I don't know anything about actually the demographic changes in Africa um, when we have to compare it with China or India. But um, we have this challenge in Europe for sure, and cooperation is needed. So also, I just finished a um, uh, policy paper on critical raw materials and the supply chain. Uh, they, how we should diversify supply chain from the European perspective uh, and I also saw how these partnerships uh, are needed. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think I mean, the topic scenario you are dealing with is very, I mean, uh, pr uh, I mean uh, important from a practical perspective and very applicable for, for the future and we are currently as well developing a network of uh, 
cooperation with the different universities in the region uh, by as well the uh, concept of establishing uh, kind of a scientific clubs or the student clubs on that universities where you know in one or two years uh, you uh, I mean uh, students who finish the university are going to play an important role you know in the, in the business in the, in the different I mean uh, in the areas so, uh, and like Schumann, you know, Schumann work for a future, okay? We sometimes uh, say that uh, this, uh, the old generation is, we, we should think about the new generation to form that. And Schumann, his own power put on a formation in new generation. So therefore, I mean, the Schumann primary form uh, I mean, they uh, connected and, and based on the, the new generation uh, Schumann uh, Academy, but Schumann approach for uh, from the perspective uh, to apply. I mean, uh, many things to uh, to to real to real life. So uh, we will see tomorrow. Uh, uh, you will develop, you know, your uh, presentation in the way uh, uh, I think it's uh, which, which is going to, you know, to be, be, be very exciting. And this report, right, you you wrote, it can be available for the audience as, as well. Okay, so so you present as well as the book, um, as well as the book, because our um, institution just recently published a book against Hungary assumed the European Council presidency on the 1st of July this year. So for this semester, Hungary is the president country of the, European, uh, of the Council of the European Union and Poland is going to follow us. So we issued a um, um, volume um, which we have researchers and also politicians. So two parts, a political part and a scientific part of this volume. And it's available, I sent to you uh, actually, I, I remember well. So it's available an open access way, and I will you can distribute it, of course. Okay, so you will get you know the very important research, you know, results, and very practical, I think. So this platform of this conference is as well going to create a kind of a network, you know, people who are going in the future to have an impact on that what's going on. So that to I mean uh, being certain I mean around uh, uh, being connected to the Schumann values, uh, I, we would like to create as well kind of a community, uh, which uh, for instance will uh, basically work in this way. That just if you get acquainted with Victoria today, you, you are going not to cut this connection, right? So. That is uh, our, uh, we believe this can uh, be, I, I mean, followed in the future and uh, be used to, to develop basically our relationship so that to do something which is important for, not only for single countries, but as well important for uh, all countries uh, together. So thank you, Victoria. Thank you so much. the audience already knows you. <laughs> So now we have a friend from uh, Latvia, uh, 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 Lithuania, okay, excuse me, just uh, would you be so kind, you know, to uh, talk about yourself and uh, uh, the roll-up uh, in the Lithuanian language is as well presented there about this, uh, what was uh, uh, how Schumann rejected the super state and calling for creating a community. So, be kind to present yourself, please. Okay, thank you, Professor. And hello, everybody. Uh, some of you already know me. I mean, you when I visited Warsaw uh, College in Tamarium, yes, in general. I am Andrius Schwerplis from uh, Lithuania, you see Litva. Yes. Uh, formerly, uh, I was working in Vidotas Magnus University, Kaunas, now at Kaunas College. And my research interest actually is uh, exactly what you have stated in your 
proposal in your statement about this conference or event. It is about the link relationship, which is quite uh, problematic. It is the formation of a super state in the level of, on the level of the EU and the sovereign nation state. And this tension was obvious, was evident since the beginning, since the beginning of the creation of European communities, which started in the 50s, right? So this tension was uh, since the beginning and now in these years, and I don't think it started just in, with the new commission. It is already started, you know, you have to say, for you no know, decade or even more, we are witnessing the strengthening of European institution, institutions on behalf, you know, uh, <coughs> taking some sovereign powers from the member states. And this tension, uh, it is very, how to say, interesting to explore how this tension has been developing. And in recent years, this path of development seems dangerous. The power of European institutions growing and growing, and actually with United Kingdom leaving, with Brexit, we lost very huge power, which always was opposing to the strengthening of European institutions, to the going to federal Europe. So we have lost very important colleague, partner, or, you know, stop power. But, uh, um, uh, luckily, or, you know, for the luck, uh, there are such countries as Poland, as Hungary, which are very brave to confront some unpleasant tendencies, kind of the political tendencies coming from the EU. And for my country, Lithuania, which is quite small, very small country, uh, we are following all these tendencies, all these pathways. We're exploring the developments within Western societies from the United States of America, in, in Great Britain, in France, in Germany. And we, we I mean, myself, uh, I am coming from sociology. You know, uh, it is interesting for me to observe the change of values of the social, social values, you know. And plus I'm coming from political philosophy, so I am combining these two fields and uh, it's very interesting to see the developments and uh, these developments, as I already said, uh, from Christian point of view, <coughs> from classical liberal point of view, from human rights, these classical human rights, not, you know, sexual minorities rights, but classical human rights, from that point, these tendencies are dangerous, are challenging. Uh, these tendencies uh, uh, have the ambition, you know, to rewrite, to reconsider, to change, to transform what has been called as modern constitutional social contract. Since, you know, Thomas Hobbes, John Locke, Montesquieu, so modern constitutional liberal social contract is now under the challenge from my point of view and from many other scientists' point of view. So I am interest in, interested in, in such topics, so therefore I am here. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Uh, yeah. The, the, that was uh, this platform, this conference is Schumann Primarium Forum are going, you know, to obtain just to collect the people who uh, think uh, in a common way, but not just to be contradictory, to, to attack some other parties, some other groups, just to pull out from our roots, from our history, where we are coming from and how we can create uh, the community of European nations that uh, we, uh, I mean, are cutting ourselves from the roots is just uh, we killed ourselves. So therefore the consideration, so opinion and, and your, uh, and all of you, uh, I mean, understanding 
is going, you know, to uh, develop uh, our uh, each of um, single person in that uh, I mean a community in that you know network of uh, different organizations in our region. So uh, sometimes you know there are big media who are just trying to impose. Uh, something which is not representative for real uh, opinion of the people in particular countries. And uh, we are not going, you know, in the true Manuel Schumann form to, uh, uh, I mean, obtain a kind of a uniform. It's not going about that, that you need to think in the same way as I am thinking. But I would like, you know, to learn from you, to learn from Victoria. And I hope uh, you can you can learn something from me. So so this is a way the community can uh, can can be developed. In fact, so that there will be uh, topics, uh, of course, and the entire you know basically activity of that uh, idea we propose uh, since a few years and that is uh, basically related to that what you. Uh, what you expressed uh, just uh, a few minutes ago. So thank you very much indeed. So now uh, we can uh, give a floor for uh, our colleague from uh, France from Serbia, please. You are welcome. And, uh, to say what, what you want in that context or anything you uh, you would you, you like to say, yes. And, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are an official delegation in Serbia. This is the first time that Serbia is an uh, official participant of this organization. And uh, we think that uh, it is a place for the Serbia and we can strike our position with the European countries such as uh, Schumann Trinarian Forum, and I think uh, it's essential for the Europe uh, to grow in the, as a matter of fact, as a strong continent, only if we uh, cooperate with each other. So we have many countries, and we would like to see someday Serbia here, which will be, we will be honored with that. And uh, that's all I can say. This is the first time ever uh, Serbia is officially uh, as an observer uh, to this Schumann Trinarian conference. So we will be glad. Not 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 yeah. observer. Uh, so we will be glad uh, if we get uh, another opportunity to participate in into this uh, Schumann Trinarian forum. And we also thank you for inviting us. Now I will give uh, the next few minutes to my colleague. Thank you again. Thank you, first of all, for inviting us here. Thank you to Stanislav for being so kind and uh, helpful. My name is Ognjen Ilic. I am the president of Student Association of the Faculty of Law, University of Kragujevac, at Serbia. This is the general secretary. Uh, as he said, and as you can see, officially in those pictures, our country is not there which is a thing we came to try and change. And at least try to put it on the map, or as Professor said, at least have a banner in the Serbian uh, language. Uh, I think throughout ages and in the modern years, the importance of Serbia uh, for Europe, as uh, so to say, as the Professor said, colleagues, partners, uh, from Europe is very important to a uh, distinct uh, Serbia with Bulgaria are the fortification of Europe. They have been that through history and uh, they would continue being that. And I think there is a lot more topics that our country would be, would be of very great uh, help. We have unfortunately a lithium excavation situation back in the country that is hitting our people very uh, morally and emotionally. But um, 
as I'm a bit into the science of politics and law, I can understand that uh, it's not just about uh, Serbian interest in the lithium exclamation, it's also the interest of entire Europe, which our government proves and shows that uh, is ready to cooperate uh, on that matter and that uh, we, as a Republic of Serbia, understand the needs of uh, Europe. So uh, we will add a flag of the country. We will as well prepare uh, that roll-up uh, with a Schumann uh, expression about that. Uh, Schumann said, we don't like the super state, we would like the community. And uh, basically, Schumann's primary involvement in the primary region is just geographically uh, where Serbia is. So our concept is not just to have these countries who belong to the European Union, but to give to that concept a uh, uh, wider and, uh, I mean, uh, perspective. That uh, we cannot avoid you know, anybody who is in that region, as well as we include you know, uh, Ukraine. Ukraine is not in the European Union, but we would like this region will work in the future as a community and of course trying to avoid or to exclude somebody will uh, uh, result in losing some understanding about how uh, understanding about the value of that entire community so that what you said basically the I, I said on the beginning that we would like you know to challenge mm, on different universities like you your, your university to establish the Schumann uh, scientific clubs where you create and you will be in the network of the Schumann Academy and this uh, Schumann scientific clubs are currently uh, slowly as, uh, are establishing in Poland and we suggest to do that in the other countries so to build a very big network uh, of uh, this community uh, being uh, uh, together at, at the kind of a round table where in the middle is Schumann and Schumann we, we try to discuss with the Schumann saying hey <coughs> look what they think about that we so we uh, don't we, we like not to dispute between us, but we would like to dispute to discuss with Schumann. I mean, and as well, when you, I mean, uh, deliver some uh, certain, uh, I mean, opinions about anything uh, or something, then uh, it's uh, um, going to to widen my understanding, my knowledge, relationship. Schumann said, relationship, relationship, and relationship, right? So this is a way to create a community. Of course, uh, this community is going to be created uh, uh, in the direction to implement uh, different things in, in culture, sociology, right, in the economy, in uh, all the uh, areas uh, uh, which are uh, important for, for uh, every society. So thank you for your coming and uh, I hope uh, you will uh, basically in, uh, call us saying that uh, let's say in a few three months you establish a Schumann uh, scientific clubs and I will have pleasure to come for opening that club and then we will put you on the map and so many people we know yes we have a friends there right so so now uh, we, from now this will you know be more uh, alive so thank you very much again thank you for coming and now i would like you know to ask stanislav who basically uh, 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 invited these two gentlemen from uh, serbia and it was stanislav your initiative, so just uh, say about yourself and, and about your anything you want, well, what you are going to do in this society.
Okay, thank you very much. I would like to thank my friends from Serbia for coming and accepting my uh, proposition to come to Poland. Well, I'm just a simple Polish man. I just like to know other uh, languages, other countries. Uh, I'm studying law. Uh, I just want to say that my dream is that we as a community of uh, Trimarium will grow stronger and not only economically but uh, in this area of um, values that are now in, uh, under attack the value of religious, the value of uh, personal gender, the value of uh, family it's what really builds us, it's how the nations are built, it's how the person is built and uh, I think our region has a chance to challenge, uh, for example, Western European uh, nations who are to be said that they um, are forgetting about their own identity and that's why I'm doing this, that's why I'm uh, invading, uh, inviting Serbs and other uh, people from around my um, uh, friends to uh, come to Poland to uh, be here and I'm glad that I'm here of course and I'm very pleased to meet you. Thank you very much. Tomorrow we will have uh, uh, more people, students who are uh, who has well organized two panels and will have uh, their opinions, right? And uh, there, is, there will be a students who establish as well over the um, student scientific clubs in Poland. And just, uh, I would like, you know, you as well, uh, why, you know, to come down here and uh, say some words. You, yeah. right. Because potentially, you know, at his university there is going to be uh, next uh, as well as the scientific club, I hope at least. So, I, ze względu na swój dosyć średni poziom angielskiego, przedstawię się po polsku. Nazywam się Dawid Gołębiewski i studiuję europejstykę, właśnie skończyłem na. Uniwersytecie Kardynała Stefana Wyszyńskiego i bardzo miło mi to wszystkich widzieć. Ja, so I am a student, you know, from the University of Kardynał Wyszyński and he finished an European Science Studies, right? And now he is as well attending this Schumann Trimario Forum and he is engaged in some questions we did now. Thank you very much. And just uh, uh, from except we uh, just uh, um, almost getting a meal, but before that, Professor Reicher, I would like you know to present yourself shortly. We have no case uh, yet. No, we we do not have an official opening because many people are on the way yes. is coming, and you know Professor Reicher is uh, you know. Um, uh, we get acquainted some time ago, and he's American, but he uh, fell in love <laughs> with a nice Slovakian, yes, Slovakian woman, yeah, and established a family, you know. Just say about yourself and what is more uh, or less your, uh, your area. Sure, thank you very much uh, for the uh, privilege to be here, also. And, uh, well, I teach uh, in Bratislava, at the University of Bratislava, called Komenius University. And I've been teaching there for about 25 years. Yeah, 25 years. And uh, I teach courses in international relations to the students, um, and especially uh, the course I think I was teaching the most was European integration. So the, the students uh, had the European integration course, and that was one of the ones I was specializing in. And because it, uh, it came very early to me that the, the idea of European integration 
had a lot in common with American integration. A lot of people forget that the United States started with 13 colonies, yeah, but after the war, yeah, we won <laughs> the war, <laughs> they were uh, 13 states. They were 13 independent states. You know, you have the state of New York, you have the state of Virginia, and they had, a, they had to make an integration, yeah, they had, and so uh, over the years, there's some really interesting commonalities between what has happened to the European Union and what has happened to the United States of America. So I kind of trade, I kind of track those parallels. And if you if you're familiar with the American political system, you know that the, uh, the United States is federal. It's a federal system, an integrated system, but it's highly decentralized, almost like what Schumann would, would imagine. So, uh, for example, you know that um, the the states in the United States they have most of the political authority. Uh, over their own economy, their own transport system, education, completely in the hands of it. Washington has nothing to do with education, zero. In fact, some people <laughs> wonder, why do we have a ministry of education? <laughs> and every, every a few years, they want to abolish it because it doesn't really do much. Yeah. So yeah, Washington is foreign policy and as, uh, defense and security policy. That's the big one. Uh, they did try to make a national health care for the whole USA really didn't work. You can't compare it at all to a European-style healthcare system. Yeah. So the states, and you know, very briefly, the states are uh, have most of the political authority still in this federal arrangement. So that's what that's my interest in the conference, in the Schumann idea, uh, a, a kind of a community of states in a decentralized system. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, since I know that if I understood, you know that uh, there are many problems in the US. So, this is not the uh, ideal system model. And uh, the more I learn from Professor Reichert, the more I am very enthusiastic to that how Schumann approached the development of the uh, community of nations. So this really, everything which is uh, very, uh, uh, I mean, uh, having sense, uh, takes a time. Everything which just doesn't make sense, probably supported even by, by huge money funds, just disappears after a short time or go bankrupt, like the Soviet Union. Go break, uh, bankrupt, like the uh, Roman Empire. And I am sure everything which is uh, going in the direction of the super state, go bankrupt as well. Okay? So therefore we are working on showing the alternative, in, in fact, this alternative which was uh, presented and suggested by Schumann that we are going to have to be his followers. So, uh, as I said, this is not a formal uh, opening, but we are going to some extent uh, follow our tomorrow panels to engage, uh, I mean, an uh, audience to a discussion, to develop a dialogue so that to as well get acquainted more. So to know, you know, who you are, you know, where do you come from, so that not to uh, think after we leave that place that, yes, I had very good speech of Professor Reichert, but I hope we will leave that place with uh, a very strong feeling that I I get a new friends, I, I, I get acquainted, I, I, I understand I some new people, I, I uh, basically develop some relationships. So that is a very important, uh, I mean, uh, an outcome we hope to, uh, to obtain uh, during that uh, conference. So now you are invited and welcome, you know, Fernil, which is, uh, we go straight. Straight, and straight on the left is, on the left is, uh, is the meals, on the right is the dining room. 
Uh, okay, so but remember, just try to uh, be challenged, develop the, the dialogues, get acquainted with, with the people you don't know, especially uh, with uh, foreigners you never met, just try to basically as well uh, learn from each other. Thank you very much indeed. And tomorrow, tomorrow we meet, uh, we start the first uh, panel at 10 o'clock here. Thank you.